Welcome to the Unpacking It podcast with Bryce Johnson. It's a show that unpacks sports, faith, and life with intriguing guests from the sports and entertainment world. Enjoy inspiring conversations and thought-provoking interviews. You'll hear stories from people that will inspire, challenge, and encourage you. Now, from the Unpacking It studios in Charlotte, North Carolina, uniting sports fans everywhere, here is Bryce Johnson. And joining us now is Jeff Driscoll, a quarterback with the Cincinnati Bengals. He played his college football at Florida and Louisiana Tech and was drafted by the San Francisco 49ers in the sixth round of the 2016 NFL Draft last year. He won the Ed Block Courage Award for the Bengals. He's a husband and a father, and he joins us now to talk faith, football, and life. Jeff, thanks so much for joining us. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, and uh, thanks for the intro there. That was, that was good stuff. Absolutely. So you're uh, you're back at it with the team, doing some some off season workouts. And, and before maybe we talk about that, what were some of the highlights from the off season for you? Yeah, the off season was awesome. Um, you know, kind of time to unwind, spend some time with uh, with your family. Um, took a couple trips abroad. Uh, we went over there, me and my wife. I uh, went over on vacation for a few days um, over to London, which was our first time going to uh, Europe together. And then I turned around and went back for another week and went to Italy with a couple other guys in the NFL on a uh, missions trip where we were able to, um, you know, do do football camps for them as well as uh, share our testimonies uh, for a week. So that was a really unreal experience. Wow. Well, no, I want to hear all about that, but but going back to to London. How did that turn out with your wife, and what was the the highlight from London? Oh yeah, it was awesome. I mean, we were just we were tourists, you know. We were able to to get away. Um, that was our first time being away from our um, from our daughter. She's she's eight months now, so she was I don't know five months or so um, then. So we were able to get away and spend a little bit of time together. And uh, Mama did Mama did well away from her, so it was it was really fun to to just be tourists and uh, and hang out. Oh, very, very cool. Jeff Driscoll, our guest right now on Unpacking It. And so you went on a mission trip to to Italy. What was the the, the main purpose? And and you mentioned being able to uh you know share your testimony with with other players and, and so what was kind of the, the setup for it and then ultimately what was your big takeaway from the experience? Yeah, so going into this trip, I didn't really know much about um Italy at all. Um when you hear mission trips, you don't think going over to Europe, you know, you think going into maybe some South American countries or um, some other underprivileged areas, but um, Italy is really rocky soil. Mm. Um, the people, the people there are, um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's, it's tough over there and in, in people's faith. And, um, you know, that was, that was evident. We got over there and we spoke to them and a lot of these people were really uncomfortable with us sharing our testimonies and even saying the word Jesus. So, um, just going over there and and showing them the word and you know telling them where we are i think it really helped out and it really opened some of our eyes who went over there that uh you know there, there's people who need to hear you know our testimonies and, and hear about jesus all over the world not just in uh you know places that are underprivileged wow well so as you think back on that that trip what what lasting impact do you think it had on you personally yeah so um we were busing around uh, the country, so we, we got to spend some time on the bus together uh, speaking and reflecting on our trip. And, uh, you know, I kind of shared with the group that that was my first mission trip ever. You know, I knew that it would be good. I didn't know if it would be fun. Hmm. But, I mean, I just I really enjoyed being with that group of people, getting to know them. And, um, you know, it was it was a blast, but also it was, it was so good and impactful for the kingdom. And uh, mission trips are something that, me and my family will definitely do um, in the future. Very cool. Jeff Driscoll, quarterback with the Cincinnati Bengals, our guest right now on Unpacking It. And, and so you're, you're in the middle of, of off-season workouts with the Bengals. What, what's kind of the, the format for that, and, and, and what maybe areas of, of improvement are you focusing on, on the most at this point? Yeah, so um, what we're able to do with the team is very limited um, due to the, the rules that are in place. Um, but I think this time is really important. 
Um, especially for, for us, we have a new coach, um, Zach Taylor, coming in, and we're implementing a lot of new stuff. And uh, just getting to know the new staff, getting to know the new scheme that we're going to be uh, using this year is huge. And uh, it's always it's always fun to get back with your guys and catch up and uh, just get back together. So it, it's been a blast. I really enjoy, you know, not just the group of guys that are in that locker room, but also the staff that we have. Is uh, It makes it fun to come to work each and every day. Absolutely. So, so you, you've got some of that going on, and then of course training camp uh, gets going in July. Uh, but before that, you have the Driscoll Family Football and Cheerleading Camp that you put on with your wife, who, who's a former cheerleader. So, so what is that all about, and 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 what's that like putting on a camp with your wife and, and being able to to really combine uh, football and cheerleading in, in in one big event? Yeah. So after um, after our rookie year. Uh, we really just kind of sat down and, and talked about how we want to serve the community. Um, and there's so many ways that people can serve the community. And, you know, we just wanted to use the talents that we have and the resources that we have now to just give kids a place to come out and have fun and just be kids for a day. Some of these kids that come to the camp uh, don't get opportunities like this very often. So uh, we, we use it as a way to kind of bring the community together and, uh, I think we do enjoy it just as much as the kids do. So it's something that we look forward to uh, each summer now. This is our third one, so we're, we're excited about this year. Oh, that's awesome. Jeff Driscoll, our guest right now on Unpacking It, quarterback with the Cincinnati Bengals. And and I mentioned that that you won the Ed Block Courage Award uh, this past season, and, and you were honored for, for your big comeback after really a, a major career-threatening left arm fracture, uh, required surgery and, and rehabilitation. And so I'd love to, to just share with our, our listeners, you know, what that experience was like for you during the, the, the comeback and, and really how did your faith get you through a, a difficult season and, and facing such a, a major injury? Yeah. Yeah. So um, for the people who don't know what that award is, it's voted on by the team on who was able to come back from, from an injury and, you know, doing it the right way and, and being able to come back and get back to it. You know, it was, first of all, it was just an honor to be voted by um, your peers for any award. So that was, that was really encouraging, but um, yeah, it was tough. It was really tough. There was definitely trials. Um, but at the end of the day, I knew that, uh, you know, it was, it was his plan. And um, even if I didn't like it, I was going to, I was going to stay the course. And uh, fortunately enough for me, it looked like his plan was to, to heal me and, and uh, keep me playing ball. So uh, I was excited about that, but it was it was definitely ups and downs. There was times where you know I didn't know if I was ever going to be pl- be able to play again, and uh, you know it was something that was hard to think about, but something that if that was the case, I was going to be okay with. That, I mean, that's a big statement to to make. So so how how did you kind of get to that point, and 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 what did God reveal to you during this time as you're you're even contemplating? Wait, could this be the end of of the the dream? Really, before it even gets going. Right. No, I mean, I, I think first and foremost, prayer, um, you know, from, I had a lot of prayer, my family, the people who are around me, um, such a, such a great support group, um, here in Cincinnati, we have a, a great group of guys, great group of Christians on the team, our team chaplain, uh, Morris and Megan Crawford, um, they were with us every step of the way. I mean, it's just a, a, a group of people here in Cincinnati that helps you, um, grow, in your in your journey while you're in the NFL, so I think that was a huge part of it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that was probably the biggest part of it. Oh, man, excellent, Jeff Driscoll, our guest right now on Unpacking It, quarterback with the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, he played his college football at Florida and Louisiana Tech, and and so l- let's go back more to the the beginning of your kind of faith journey, and and really what was the turning point for you in your life when when you really decided to start following Jesus what 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 went into that experience and that understanding and, and that process to, to get you to that point yeah so I mean I grew up I grew up going to church I was always a, a good kid I was never in trouble or anything like that but I wouldn't say I really had a relationship with Jesus until um, I was in college it was actually through another injury I broke my ankle you know third game into my junior year and um, there was this guy, his name was Don Malden. He was always around the University of Florida football program. He was, um, you know, a chaplain. 
And um, he always pursued me, hey, come to chapel, hey, let's do a Bible study, hey, this, hey, that. And, you know, after a couple of years of that, you get to wonder, hey, what, is this, or what, what does he know about Jesus that he feels the need to tell me about it? And even though I've been blowing him off for years, so finally one day when I was, you know, laid up, he, he cornered me and I said, all right, let's, let's hear what, what, what you have to say. And uh, we started meeting regularly, and I gave my, gave my life to Christ, you know, with him and in the recruiting, the recruiting room there at the University of Florida. What, yeah, what was kind of maybe said or, or what really – uh, left an imprint on you that that made you that made you get to that point of of understanding. Well, I, I just saw the love of Jesus in him. You know, I didn't know it at the time, but I mean, he just kept pursuing me, and it, it wasn't only me he was pursuing. He was going after the hearts of so many guys in the team, and um, I just thought to myself, hey, if if this Jesus is what this guy um, tells me he is, then then this Jesus is something special, and he he lived it each and every day, so. It was easy to see uh, the heart of Jesus in him. Amen. Wow, that's powerful. Jeff Driscoll, our guest right now on Unpacking It. And and so, all right, you, you give your life to Christ, and, and your college football career ended up being uh, pretty challenging. And and so you, you, you had a you know kind of a tough uh, career at Florida, and then you ended up transferring to Louisiana Tech. And so when you look back at college, you know, what what did you – learn about your yourself and, and what are some of the, the, the big takeaways that, that you think about now as you look back at that time in, in your life? I told you I gave my, my life to Christ when I broke my leg my junior year. Um, and I was able to come back um, and have a retro junior year the next year, and I thought, hey, I'm a Christian now. I'm about to ball out and get drafted first round, and it just didn't work out that way. I didn't, you know, I didn't play well. I ended up getting benched after the season. I just decided it would be best to uh, – to move on. There was no hard feelings toward the program or anything like that, but it was, I just thought it was best to move on. And I chose to go to Louisiana tech over, you know, a bunch of other schools. And I'm happy I chose Louisiana tech because, um, you know, the people that I met there, they, we, we still have relationships to this day. With that in mind, what do you tell people that, that maybe are, you know, new in their faith or, or still, you know, still trying to understand that, that concept? What, what have you, I don't know, continue to learn even since then, just this understanding that, that as we pursue God, we're going to face struggles, challenges, but, but they're used to really build our faith. I think one is um, it's hard. You know, it's definitely not an easy thing to do. There's so many, you know, worldly and earthly influences that we have to face this day that it, it really is hard and you have to be prepared to, to fight each and every day. And I think number two is that it's a process. These things take time. When you're when you're saved, it's not like you're you're flipping a switch and it's just it's just done. It's it's a process and it uh, it takes a course of a lifetime to really mold your heart and it's just continual growth. That's right. It really is a, a journey and a process. And uh, thankfully, the the Lord is with us each step of the way. Uh, Jeff Driscoll uh, with us right now on unpacking it. Quarterback with the Cincinnati Bengals. And and so you, you've been the backup quarterback to to Andy Dalton the the last few seasons, and you were able to fill in for him uh, last year when when he got injured, and and did a nice job uh, coming in on the field and, and scoring some touchdowns uh, for the Bengals last year. But but I'm curious, uh, what is the relationship like with Andy? And it's just always fascinating to me to think about you know quarterback rooms, and then specifically for you guys, uh, both having a, a similar faith, and so. How does that impact how you guys work together, and, and what's that relationship like? Yeah, so first and foremost, I just want to say Andy is an unbelievable Christian, unbelievable player, and unbelievable leader. He's he's someone that I truly look up to, and you know I haven't had a lot of teammates over the course of my career that I've been able to say, hey, I look up to this guy on the field and off the field. So he's a guy who walks it and talks it. Um, but yeah, we spend a lot of time together. I think we work really well together. And we're, and we're really good friends. Our wives are friends. It's just a pleasure pleasure to work with each and every day. I've learned so much from him, and uh, you know, I try to help him out as much as possible. How do you think he's helped you, and, and, and how do you think you've helped him uh, football-wise, I guess, and, and then even personally? I mean, Andy's played a lot of football. Ever since he's been in the league, he's been the starter. So he's been he's been the young starting quarterback. He's seen it all, so... You know, there's some experiences that he's had that maybe I haven't seen yet that he tries to tell me about. Um, just the way he handles himself 
uh, in the locker room around the guys, the way he, how he's just his leadership. Um, I think it just shows you the right way to do it, and it's always good to have somebody to look up to like that. Um, and then for me, how I how I try to help him is, you know, I try to give him as much information as he needs, whether it's during the game on the sideline or talking to some of those receivers and maybe telling them what Andy's looking for or, or things like that. And uh, just try to make his job, you know, a little bit easier than it is because it's, it's, it's a hard thing to do is be a, be a starting quarterback in the NFL. And no, no question about it, but it, but it sure helps to, to have a backup that, that you can rely on and trust and have a great relationship with. So that's, that's really cool to hear. Jeff Driscoll, a quarterback with the Cincinnati Bengals, joining us here on Unpacking It. And, and so you, you mentioned that, that you had a daughter eight months ago, and, and so my wife is actually due with our first uh, this August. And so I'm, I'm curious, uh, what kind of advice do you have for, for first-time dads and what have you already learned uh, through through these first few months uh, being a dad? Yeah, well, first of all, congratulations. That's awesome. I appreciate it. We're having a yeah, daughter as well. You guys, yeah, you guys are in for an, an awesome ride. Um, it's been a blast every step of the way. Um, but I guess advice that I would have is just, you know, take it all in. You know, there's, there's times when, when they're super young, when you're like, man, I can't wait until she's crawling or, Man, when she's walking, things are going to be so much easier. But I would say just take every every moment in because uh, it happens quick. It, it goes by fast. I, I'm sure. I'm sure. No, that that's really neat. Well, well, Jeff. But before we wrap things up, uh, we'd love to do a segment called Tap Drill, which is a couple you know quick hitters and, and fun questions to to throw out there. Uh, so we'll we'll kind of do some some rapid fire with you real quick. Who was your favorite athlete growing up? My favorite athlete was Mark Brunell. I lived in Jacksonville, and my family had original season tickets, so he was the quarterback. Have you had a chance to meet him? I I have. I have, and it was awesome, so it's been cool. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so if you could throw a touchdown to any wide receiver in history, who would it be? I think it's got to go back to when I was a young fan, thinking how it would have to be Jimmy Smith. Ooh, all Jaguars. right. Yeah, very cool. So what about uh, in the off season? Is there a food that you maybe don't eat during the season that, that's your favorite food to eat in the off season? Well, during, during the season, I don't get to, to barbecue as much as I uh, do in the off season. So maybe something like uh, homemade smoked brisket. Wow, that's impressive. How long did it take you to, to learn to, to kind of master that, that skill there? Because that seems a little tricky to, to, to get right. Yeah, I don't know if I've mastered it yet, but um, <laughs> it, it's definitely, like anything else, it's an ongoing process. <laughs> that's it. Oh, that's awesome. What do you enjoy during your downtime? Not much downtime with the, <laughs> with the young daughter. If there's any downtime, it can be filled quickly playing with her. So I guess playing with the family. Very cool. All right, last one. What, what's your favorite sport to watch besides football? Favorite sport to watch is definitely baseball. I was a baseball guy growing up. Um, and have a couple buddies in the big leagues now. So uh, I try to catch them as much as possible. Oh, that's awesome. Well, man, Jeff, really appreciate you you being a part of the show today, and, and just thanks for sharing your heart and uh, being willing to share part of your, your story and journey with us here on Unpacking It, and uh, wish you the best the, the rest of the way in the off season, and uh, hopefully another uh, great year for you, and, and, and hopefully the Bengals can uh, bounce back and, and have a nice season coming up in 2019. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it and enjoy being on. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. There's Jeff Driscoll joining us here on Unpacking It. For more information about the show, our events, and other resources, visit unpackingit.com. That's U-N-P-A-C-K-I-N-I-T.com. We hope you are encouraged, inspired, and challenged by what you heard today. To support our show and Unpacking It Ministries with a financial gift, visit unpackingit.com slash donate. We look forward to unpacking sports, faith, and life with you again next week.